We are back, you guys, with another episode of Fifty Shades of Chicken. Hey guys, Kira here from Fifty Shades of Mom, back to share with you a, another episode of Fifty Shades of Chicken. I can't believe it, we're at episode seven, and this is definitely continuing to become challenging as we're diving into this book. It was a little easier for the novice writer in me when we first started, but I don't really know if I've mentioned this too much or broken this down for you guys, but it's me who is writing the content for this so it's not like when daryl is speaking that that is us reading from the book so the only part that i read is the little excerpt that comes before each recipe so you can see there that we're making chicken chili today and this is what i read to you and then right in there then they supply the recipe and the instructions on the next page so it's been me taking the recipe and turning it into something for Daryl to read and voice over. They were making it pretty easy for me in the beginning. There was a lot of things that I was able to use to create little innuendos. Definitely was a little bit more difficult for me with the jerk chicken just because, like I said, Mr. Blades wasn't in that. They didn't give me a whole lot to work with. Um, and then this time, something similar. The recipe, especially when you're making chili, most of it is just dicing your veggies and throwing it all in one pot. I will tell you that I'm filming this excerpt long after we've filmed this recipe and there was not one morsel of this chili left. Daryl and I ate it like nacho dip and once it was done, we actually couldn't get away from the pot because we were like standing there eating it with chips. It was really delicious. So the recipe itself is definitely worth following um but again it didn't give me a whole lot to work with with writing content for the voiceover so make sure you guys comment down below when this is all over and let us know how daryl and i did but you know it's definitely teamwork for him and i so this recipe today is called spicy fowl he's back yesterday he sent me some parsley and a bouquet garni i can't keep up with his mood shifts but I'm a sucker for aromatics. Today, he's going to extra lengths to soften me up. He's got me in a hot soak with more aromatics, plus something mysteriously pungent. It was impossible to stay mad at him when he brought me the beer. I just couldn't stop thinking about you, he says. There's something about you, Miss Hen. I don't know what it is, but I find I must have you. I am dumbstruck by his hungry expression. Wow, to be desired by this great golden god of a cook. Now, if we're going to do this, we need to talk about recipes, he says. Uh-oh, here it comes. I steal myself for bad news, and my subconscious does a duck and cover. First, as my ingredient, you will submit entirely to my control. I will cook you any time, any way I want, as my mood strikes me. Jeez, moods like this can keep a girl hopping. What does that mean, your ingredient, I ask? It means that for the foreseeable future, I will cook you and only you. He wants to cook me. Blades wants to cook me. And I realize in a flash of insight that that is exactly what I want. Maybe it's just the beer talking or the way the chilies are making my skin tingle. But right now, what I want most in all the world is to satisfy this man's chicken cravings. And in return, you will surrender your body to me. You will be my obedient ingredient, warm or cold, dressed or undressed, whole or in parts. He pauses to stir my bath, or highly spiced. I'm still on the fence about all of this. Why should I want to do such a thing? To please my palate, he breathes, savoring the words. His voice is hypnotic, and the bath has had its effects on me. I'm soft and compliant, and suddenly I feel prepared for anything he can dish out. And lastly, Miss Hen, he adds firmly, 
when we're cooking, you will only address me as chef. I will consider your proposal. I cluck demurely. Chef. So cute writing. I think the, the author is always really good at, you know, tying in the original 50 shades with the little excerpt that ties in with our recipe. But now we are going to get into spicy fowl. Today on 50 Shades of Mom, we're making chicken chili. For this recipe, you will need three pounds of ground chicken, olive oil, black pepper, salt, can of crushed tomatoes, your idea of a spicy pepper, can of black beans, can of red beans, four cloves of garlic, two onions, chili powder, tomato paste, cilantro, peppers, a bottle of apple ale, two limes, and a partridge in a pear tree. The choice of how you want to enjoy this dish is really up to you. If you want the pleasure of a seared palate, leave the seeds in your peppers. If you prefer a slower build to your gratification, de-seed the peppers before use. First we need to remove Miss Hen's shade of pink, although I do love that color on her. We will need to heat up some olive oil in the pot and let it get smoky. While it's reaching our desired temperature, we are going to bring out my more versatile tool, the Omani chopper, and chop our onions and peppers. Our oil is now hot, so let's add half of our ground chicken and season with salt and pepper. Cook until there is no more pink visible to the naked eye. Remove it from the pot with a slotted paddle, <laughs> I mean spatula, and repeat with the remaining meat. We add our final amount of olive oil into the pan and follow it with the tomato paste. Quickly add your veggies and garlic as the pan begins to blacken. Time to loosen up Miss Hen. Pour in half of your choice of beer. Immediately all the bits of the pan will soften, setting the perfect atmosphere for my lovely ingredient. While that simmers a bit, we will prep our can of sauce and our beans, making sure everything is washed and clean and ready for the pot. Time to combine all the delicious flavors together. In goes the chili powder, chicken, beans, sauce, and remaining beer, all while stirring constantly.
After about an hour on low simmer, time to add the final aromatics to accentuate the flavor in Miss Hen. So throw in your cilantro and lime juice and serve with your favorite toppings and beer. So here we go guys, here is our final product, serving it with all of our favorite ingredients. So we actually topped it with some of that Rico's cheddar sauce and some red onions and sour cream and extra cilantro and some chips. But to be honest guys, I really only plated this bowl just for the point of the video. Daryl and I, like I said earlier, literally stood over the bowl with chips and just dunked into the pot. This definitely has to be one of the better recipes we have grabbed out of this book so far. We are definitely chili people. Mexican food is definitely a strong favorite in this house. So this really hit home. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. We're actually going to have episode eight like very soon because we are super behind. So thank you guys so much for always being supportive of this episode. We love you guys all so much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.